as of this moment right now someone is watching you your every click your location even your private messages but what if I told you there is a way to vanish from the internet and no one will ever know where you really are does this sound interesting yes it does so in this video, I'm showing you how to hide and protect yourself online using proxy chains and the Tor network. You know, this is the same thing that elite hackers do. But here is the twist. Tor alone is not enough to stay anonymous. And if you do not set this up correctly, you are still exposed. This is not about just using Tor like everyone else. This is about stacking layers of anonymity like a digital invisibility clock. And in the next 60 seconds, I'm going to prove why most people who use browsers like Tor are still vulnerable. But first, what is proxy chains and why does it matter? Proxy chains is a tool that forces any program, even tools that do not support proxies, to route traffic through multiple socks or HTTP proxies, including Tor. Think of it like Google Maps, except you teleport through three fake locations before reaching your real destination. But that is just the start, because when we combine this with Tor network, it becomes far more powerful. Here is the hard truth. Just using Tor is not bulletproof. Tor's exit nodes can still see your traffic and if someone controls multiple nodes, your anonymity can be broken. This is where proxy chains saves you. It hides your originating IP before you even enter the Tor network, meaning that the real you stays buried behind multiple layers of misdirection. You have probably seen thousands of free proxies, IPs from all over the world. On the surface, it seems very easy, but here is the problem. These proxies are often dead, slow, or even honeypots set up to spy on your traffic. You have no idea who owns that proxy, what data they are logging, or how exposed you actually are. That is why real cybersecurity pros use proxy chains. It does not rely on some random third-party proxy list. It routes your traffic through your own Tor node chain and you stay in control. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There has never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from $90,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. Let me show you how to work with proxy chains, configure it with Tor and actually verify if your IP is hidden. First, open the terminal and run sudo nano then space and then slash adc slash proxy chains 4.conf this will open the configuration file of proxy chains in the nano editor you can use vim or any other text editor as well this proxy chains config file is packed with different chaining modes each one controls how your traffic moves between proxies and how reliable or stealthy your connection becomes Here's what each option actually does, and I will break it down in simple terms. First, dynamic chain. 
This one is smarter and the one I highly recommend. It keeps the order of your proxies, but if one is dead, it will automatically skip it. That makes your connection way more stable in real world use. Next is strict chain. This is more rigid. It forces proxies to be used in the exact order you listed in the config file. The problem is, if even one proxy dies, the whole connection just fails. Then we have round robin chain. Think of this like a rotation system. It moves through your proxy list evenly from the first to the last and then loops back to the first again. It is great for load balancing. And finally, we have random chain. This one mixes things up. It picks proxies in a different order every time you connect, which makes you much harder to trace. The downside is that it can be slower and a little less predictable. Next, we have proxy DNS. This forces DNS lookups through the proxy chain, so your real IP address does not leak through DNS requests. It has two more related methods. One is proxy DNS old and one is proxy DNS daemon. In the DNS old method, it acts as a legacy fallback DNS resolver, only enabling if the normal proxy DNS does not work. In proxy DNS daemon, however, it runs a tiny DNS server locally and tunnels DNS. It is useful for complex setups or when you want all DNS to be forced through your proxy chain's path. Now scroll to the bottom and find the proxy list section. Here I am adding your local tar SOX5 proxy like this. SOX5 and then IP address and then 9050. This tells proxy chains to route traffic through the TAR service running on our own machine. Once that is added, press Ctrl plus O to save the configuration file and Ctrl plus X to close it. If TAR is not already installed on your Linux machine, then run sudo apt install hyphen y TAR and then TAR browser launcher. This will grab both TAR and the TAR browser launcher and once this is done, you want to execute tar browser hyphen launcher and wait for the installer to download and set everything up in the background. Now start the tar service by running sudo service tar start. And then you can confirm if it is running correctly by using this command sudo service tar status. If you see it listed as active, you're good to go. But what happens if you use proxy chains on tools like Nmap or Firefox? Let us try it and in 10 seconds, I'll show you something that completely changed how I see internet privacy. And it will surely change yours as well. Open a new tab and launch Firefox using proxy chains by writing proxy chains space Firefox. As soon as the browser opens, search for a DNS leak test site and boom! As you can see, my location is showing in a completely different country. And finally, let us test how safe we really are by scanning a random website. I'm going to scan a website called Endless Horse using Nmap through proxy chains. For this, execute proxy chains, Nmap, and then hyphen ST, and then the website address which is endlesshorse.com. And just like that, I'm performing a full scan of the Endless Horse website. And you know the best part? This whole thing does not reveal my identity and you know nobody can trace me, it's completely private. You just learned how to clock your IP through proxy chains and Tor. But here is your challenge, try it now and test your own anonymity. Let me know your results and any issues you face in the comments. If this video lit a fire in your mind, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the bell icon because what is coming next is not just bigger, it is riskier, crazier and way more advanced. This one